honestly this was not the best week ever okay it was a very rough week we started the week of being ill in times of trouble you know you can count on limbs and then we were frustrated that we were ill <sighs> yeah so this isn't really working out for me anymore um at first it was like okay i'll give you a few days off but now it's just dragging and i don't have time for this nonsense anymore so whether or not my body is prepared me i'm done being ill but you know me being the fighter that i am i decided to still do some reading i bought this book for my little sister my friend actually is the author of this book but maybe i should read it now since i literally have nothing to do i mean i have things that i could do but i'm not in the mood but yeah that's my friend Modelua Olari Wadru remember that name because one day it will mean something to you she'll get I'm going to bed I'm going. honestly I think at this point I was just frustrated like I was just over the whole thing so by the next day I woke up and tried to do some work and research ethics related that looks at the design um, in accordance to these ethical principles. Hi there, are you still here? Yeah, hello. Uh, I've just talked to a colleague and she said... So, what's on the agenda today? Eating cookies. You guys, I'll be honest, I haven't really been feeling my best lately. Like, I haven't been feeling good. Oh, sorry. So, I woke up early and joined my seminar. Um, and I planned on making today somewhat productive, right? But now the seminar is over and I honestly don't have it in me to do anything else. Like, this is so bad. I've just been in this phase or cycle where I just cannot really get things done and it's just been really really stressful because even though i'm not like physically stressed it's like stressful to think about how much work that i have to do that i'm not doing um and i don't really know how to snap out of it you know it's just been this continuous cycle of fear anxiety um sadness and just unable to do anything and it's just not ideal because I have so much work to do, so much. Um, obvious one is like with my uni. I have, I'm in my final semester now, like this is it. This is my last shot to actually get this right and make sure I end with like a decent grade and stuff. So this is not the ideal time to be feeling like this. I've just been heavy, I've just been down, I've just been mostly sad and just, I don't, I don't even know what it is. I think honestly, a lot of people are really just struggling this period because of like, the you know the mental effects of the pandemic is really catching up starting to catch up with a lot of people i think that's probably what it is um just being at home because i've been isolating as well for this is my day day nine today's day nine um and i just found out i have to isolate again for another 10 days um so i don't know if it's being locked up in a room that's making me feel this way which just is really annoying because i really want this whole mess to end like, anyway i know i must not be the only person feeling like this so to anybody else out there that has been feeling sad has been feeling heavy low defeated please just hang in there like i know it's really hard because even me saying this now i'm like do i even believe what i'm saying but just try and find something to make you smile every day right something so as for me I think I'm just going to spend the rest of the day in bed, which is bad because I again like I have so much work to do. What's the time? Oh wow, it's only um 2:54, so the day is actually still really young. I could actually still get so much done today, but right this moment I don't feel up to it. I'm not going to lie, like I have no desire to be productive. Um, I don't know why I keep doing that anytime I say productive. Like it's such a bad word. It's not. <sighs> That's all for me. So I'm going to go watch a movie i don't know what movie to watch though because i feel like i've watched so many movies lately and i'm kind of running out of movies to watch like 
light-hearted movies to watch you know because i'm not i'm not really in the mood to watch anything heavy like i really avoid tragic films um like movies about tragedy or romance movies where somebody dies like i just cannot stand it right now like it just because i already feel really heavy i already feel really sad about so many things and just you know just the atmosphere in the world right now is just really heavy so i just feel like i don't want to watch something sad as well um so i try to watch something that kind of teleports me to a different time where things are happy things are you know bright and cheerful and good you know i will see you guys later bye an album okay it's it's actually a genetic thing apparently like not everybody can roll their eyes and okay 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 listen i've been thinking about that sign on your forehead and i was wondering if you'd mind taking it down for dinner friday night over it's the confidence for me oh, i can't I have a couple parties I have so you guys um i ended up watching hitch this is actually a movie that i've seen before <laughs> i've actually seen this movie before but i didn't have the energy to look for something else to watch so i decided yeah let me just watch something i've already seen so yeah i'm watching hitch if you haven't seen it um i think it's something that i would recommend it's just a like light-hearted feel-good movie nothing nothing extra special but it's just you know one of those nice feel-good movies so yeah this is my tuesday night is it tuesday today or wednesday i don't even know what day it is but um this is my current evening guilty pleasure <laughs> his face right here he was like oh no wow he was literally so shook i don't believe it i don't believe it either honey i don't believe it either that's your source listen this is exactly why i see i might need to turn my lights on for this okay i had to turn my lights on quickly this is why you don't rush to conclusions okay if you don't know the full story, then just close your mouth and mind your business. Don't go and ruin somebody's life. Because this reporter, like, she has literally just gone ahead and ruined somebody's life when she didn't even know the full story. Like, people just need to stop jumping to conclusions and stop assuming, like, they know everything and just start talking anyhow. If you don't know what's going on, just shut your mouth. Like, I promise it's not that hard to do like she didn't even take the time to talk to him to find out what was actually going on she just assumed boom he's this he's that and now she's ruined somebody's life like i'm just so 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 annoyed get your facts right before you before you open your mouth and talk oh i'm actually so triggered <laughs> I feel like I need to give you guys context because maybe you don't understand what's going on here. This is somebody that has coursework to do, okay? She has cases to read and analyze. She has articles to read and analyze. She has textbooks to read and analyze. But for some reason, she thought it would be better use of her time to analyze a movie. Like, I just want you guys to understand the level of unseriousness that we're talking about here. Because I feel like you don't really, you're not really getting it. Like, I mean, what she's saying, what she's saying is true. Don't jump to conclusions. But like, is this, is this the time? Oh. <laughs> well, she said, oh. I just want to say, I'm really sorry. Apology not accepted. Get brighter, get brighter. I wanted to try something different when I did this hair, right? But honestly, I think next time I'm just going to stick to my browns because I'm not really feeling this hair color. No, <laughs> this is me trying to do something different. Let me tie it and see how it looks. Let me tie it and see how it looks. Guys, if you don't have hair scrunchy, if you don't have hair scrunchy when you have braids on, just use the hair. See, I'm always giving you guys tips, like, come on. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm done. And in case you're wondering, I'm actually not going anywhere today. I just wanted to wake up and get ready because I felt like it would make me feel better and it would make me, like, 
it will push me to make today somewhat productive so um yeah i'm ready i might actually try i keep looking at myself in this viewfinder it's actually so distracting let me just close it um so i might actually try to do some instagram reels because i've been trying to get into those um well not trying because i haven't actually done any but i'm trying to get into instagram reels like i haven't done any reels yet so i'm going to try and do one today since i'm already since you know i put i put in a little more effort than i normally do okay anyway so you guys um i don't know what i should do to oh, like i need to i need to do you know what that's called distracted by your own beauty it happens so yeah i think i'm going to try and do some instagram reels and then after that i'm going to do one of my lecture recordings today because i'm really behind with my uni work like it's so bad um because yeah i haven't really been feeling myself lately um but today i'm going to try i'm determined to make today a productive day <laughs> I woke up in a good mood and I think I think that is because last night last night I suddenly just had like a worship moment where I just started worshiping I just started praying and it just made me feel better like I just woke up because I realized I had been stressing about so much but I hadn't actually spoken to God about any of it like I hadn't actually prayed about anything I hadn't really taken anything to God I was just stressing so last night I just I just prayed and I just worshiped and I just felt at peace with myself again which is just great because it's been a minute this is how <laughs> this is how I move around in my room honestly when I'm at um, this table and I need to get something I literally just scoot up and down because why stand up like who has time to actually stand up to do anything Whew! I haven't actually drank any water today which is so bad and the time is what's, where's my phone Oh my god okay a lot of the day has actually gone it's currently 3 55 3 56 and I feel and I almost I feel like you are making a problem with me and there is a problem you have a lot of problem with me guys look how many I've done So sorry, you guys.
I just finished my Bible study and honestly I'm just like I'm always amazed at the fact that God wants to speak to us because you know sometimes you just don't feel worthy enough for God to speak to you like it's just such a beautiful thing as well to know that like God really is he's he actually does want to have a relationship with us what <laughs> I think that's just mad because sometimes you can allow your own um beliefs and your own like standards to get in the way like we don't understand sometimes that our standards are not god's standards so we think oh because i've done this and i've done that in the past i've made all these mistakes why would god want a relationship with me but he actually does and that's just incredible like he the fact that like just a simple fact that he would speak to us directly you know like you don't have to go to a pastor to say what is God saying how you know in the olden days when people had to go to priests in the church when people had to go to like prophets and go to pastors and stuff obviously we still have pastors and prophets now um but it's just the idea that like God actually speaks to us directly like that's that's just incredible I think that's just mind-blowing also I use my phone to do my bible study right and i've been thinking about like changing that the reason i like to use my phone is the convenience of switching through different translations because sometimes when i read something in like one translation for example this is like nlt nlt is the one that i go to that's my go-to translation some translations i read like i'm really struggling to understand what it's saying so i really like that i can easily switch to a different translation when i use the bible app um oh my god this is sounding like it's sponsored it's not okay <laughs> but it's easier to get distracted when you're using your phone to do your bible study and sometimes like you might say okay i'm going to do my bible study and then you just end up on tiktok or instagram or something so yeah i'm thinking about getting i have physical bibles but the one i have i have two one is new king james version and the other one is niv um so i'm thinking of getting the new living translation since that's the one that i use most of the time and maybe um message version i don't know if they have hard copy of message version and they, i mean they probably do hard copy of message version and the passion because i really like the passion but the passion isn't like for the whole they it's not it doesn't the passion is not available for the whole bible i don't know i feel like i'm just going to stick to my phone for now but eventually it would be nice to actually have a hard copy bible so if you guys know any like really good bibles um that i could get please let me know because i i would really like to get a hard copy someone told me about um this bible called like life application bible and they have like different translations as well someone told me about it and i actually i think it's even in my shopping basket on amazon let me see because i know i searched for it i saw it on oh my god i actually saw it on someone's vlog um i think Fa face over matter i don't know if you guys know her she's a youtuber i was watching her vlog one day and she was talking about that bible yes this is it the nlt life application study bible so i think i might actually try and get one of these because from what she said like it sounded like it's a really good bible that would help with the bible study because they have like bits for um notes and just things like that application and explaining it and stuff like that and i think that would really help um so yeah i don't know i need to get on with uni work now so i will see you guys later honestly you guys i know it's really hard right now mentally for a lot of people um but please just try and find a reason to smile every day, whether that be putting on your favorite music and just dancing carefree in your room or speaking to your family and friends or just watching a movie, okay? Everything will be fine in the end, hopefully. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next video.